I want to first, my friend, congratulate you for the commitment and the discipline that you have shown so far in learning this topic, Facebook in, and Instagram advertisement. Now, I understand that, uh, which is normal, by the way, that when we get to new knowledge, when we learn new stuff, overwhelming is just part of the deal. And there is no way, in fact, to avoid overwhelming at all entirely. But there is a way to manage the overwhelming and to reduce it, okay, so that we get better results. So the key takeaway from this module that I want you to leave with is this. There is a short point or a short, uh, the shortest destination between you and your goal is a straight line. So what does that mean? It means, let's use the diagram here, it means what you need to set for yourself is a starting point and a finish point. And think of this as if you are building bridges, okay? As if you are building a bridge. So you need to go from where you are here right now, okay, this is the start point in your Facebook marketing and social media marketing and Instagram advertising. This is your start point. The start points here on a piece of paper, blank paper. Just write down where is your current situation, where you are right now. Uh, you can write stuff like how many fans you have on the page, how many leads you have on the page, how many customers you get a month, uh, what is the volume of your sales, like the current situation, the current being, everything you can think of that is related to your Facebook advertisement and write it in the start point. And the finish point, write down where you want to be, where you want to go. And uh, that might be certain number of customers, certain number of leads, like a milestone for you. Okay, and take it easy on yourself here. Don't put big goals, uh, that is not realistic or, or unachievable right now. Okay, and I'm, by the way, I'm a big believer of, uh, of that we can do everything, we can fly, we can touch the sky. This is my character, this is my, this is my personality. I believe that we can do stuff but I believe as well that we need to be rational in thinking and make sure that the goals we set for ourselves are achievable and we can make them in a timeline or based on a timeline. So uh, why I'm sharing this with you? Because in this lesson, maybe uh, some like uh, some stuff that's new to you or maybe you know some of them, but other stuff that is like totally new to you and now where to start, what to do, where to begin with. Do you use viral right now, viral apps, for example, or do you use like you start creating uh, where to go, okay? And I know like knowledge here isn't just to give you this knowledge. I mean, my point here is not just to give you, hey, this is how to do Facebook ads, follow the steps. No, I want to guide you through this even even on, 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 on a psychological level so that you get results. My point here is that you get results. It's not, I mean, wh why do you want to learn Facebook ads anyway? To get results, right? If not getting results, then what's the point of paying fees to get this course? This is the thing. So I want you to get results. Now, the key takeaway that I want you to take from this lesson is to take it easy on yourself and understand that this, the shortest way between A to B is a straight line. Here we go, it's a straight line. You can think, okay, I will create now 10 campaigns and I will do like incredible stuff that never done before and just take it easy on you, okay? It's a straight line and highlight the milestones that takes you from where you are to where you want to be and build one bridge at a time. So the first bridge might be for you to grow your list and get more subscribers, get more leads into your CRM, get more audience seeing your stuff, warming your audience, like reaching to cold audience and getting them to know you, to know your brand, that's a milestone, okay? Build this bridge truly and then go back again and build another bridge until the finish, to from the start to the finish, okay? Because every time, like when you finish a milestone or a major goal, now that what? That's that's a new beginning for another goal. So you will have, an, again, a start and a finish line. And what most entrepreneurs do is uh, we follow, I mean, that's, uh, that's natural um, and we can avoid it, but just it's good to note that we, we build a bridge we, we try to build more bridges. Let's let's just uh, uh, assume that the start point here is like your reality island and the finish line is your dream island. In the reality island, 
you are where you are right now. You have what you have. You owe what you owe. Like your current situation right now. And the dream island is the place where you want life to be. Everything to be as you want it. So naturally, because we are entrepreneurs, and this is what entrepreneurs do, is we try to build the bridges between this island and the other island. And this bridges might be a project, campaign, a new product. So what we do is we build multiple projects. Okay, many projects like, okay, let's do this, let's do this. And we build, we do some stuff in here, some steps here. We take some, some, uh, some actions like this is a cool lead magnet idea. This is a cool campaign idea. And what happens is that we build different projects simultaneously. Instead of focusing our efforts in one bridge to the end, we diversify our efforts. And why we do that first? Well, simply because... Uh, we want to feel more secured. Like, what if this bridge didn't work? Well, at least I will have another option so I can continue on. Or what if this didn't uh, get the results that I want? Well, at least I have an alternative and so on. And I know like this popular saying that says, don't put your baskets in, in one, uh, don't put your, all your eggs in one basket. Yeah, that's true, but not here, okay? Because imagine if you put all the efforts all the, the, the resources that you gather in just building one bridge and you take it from the beginning to the start. And when you once you finish it, sorry, from the beginning to the end. And once you finish it, you go back and build another bridge and again, another bridge or, or even better. You keep the same bridge here and start maintaining this bridge. Make it, a, make it more effective, make it colorful, add more colors to it, like make it pink, why not? Okay, and make it, more uh, giving you more results. That's what uh, smart entrepreneurs do. And that's what I urge you to do. So to make more results from what you have learned in this lesson, I urge you to go there and on a piece of paper, just peacefully with, your, with yourself, honest with yourself, write down where you are right now, where is your business right now, and where you want it to be. Uh, in like give, give it a milestone, like a month, two months, three months, and so on, okay? And Go identify the, mi the major milestones that you need in order to build this bridge truly and use the knowledge, uh, the resources, the tools that just help you achieve this. It's not about doing everything. It's about doing one thing that gets you results. One thing that gets you results. If you try to do everything at one time, you will end up burned out and you'll just stop. And that's what happens to most people. And I don't want that to happen to my students. Definitely not for you. So I hope you take this advice and uh, apply it. Thanks again for joining me on this uh, Facebook advertisement journey. I really appreciate your trust first and uh, your time spent here, not just the money, because I believe like money, we can make money, right? I mean, it's just like, like let's say like, you spent a thousand dollars today. Well, you can make a thousand dollars, of course, maybe next month, maybe the other month, maybe from the thing, like, you can make money, but you can't make time. and. You are giving me your most valuable asset. It's your time. And I appreciate that. And I believe that, uh, like, I promise I will do my best to make your time worth it in here. That you're learning stuff that moves you forward from where you are to where you want to be. Thank you very much again for joining me in this journey. And I look forward to seeing you in the next module. Bye-bye.